What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of crashing, lagging or freezing issue you're currently having with Resident Evil Village. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step by step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want to you guys know or let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys, you would support my work on YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that, so anyways I would just say let's get right started. So the first step I would recommend doing for everybody is gonna be to navigate to the very bottom of your screen where you're gonna right click your taskbar and open up your task manager. The next step is going to be to navigate to the top left corner of your screen, clicking onto processes. And once you click processes, I want you to simply end every single task which is currently running and has nothing to do with Windows, obviously. So two reasons for that. First of all, too many applications, too many background processes, too many programs, too many games running at the same time. On a low end or bad PC will cause crashing, lagging or freezing on the long term because your PC can handle that anymore. And the second reason, like it was for me, there are some applications, don't ask me why, which are currently third party in your game, causing it to crash or freeze in some way. So just trust me and end every single process. Once you're finished with that, I want you to end the task manager again. And afterwards, search for an empty spot onto your uh, monitor or your desktop. You're gonna right click and simply navigate to the very bottom where it says display settings. We're gonna hit that and stick around display. And the first step is gonna be to identify which your main monitor is. And obviously, this just applies if you have more than one. So you're gonna hit identify and identify it. Once you've done with that, scroll down. Go to scale and layout, we want you to change the size of text apps on other items to so 100% is recommended. And the display resolution should be the same as in game. So for example, if you have an in-game 1720x1070, I also want you to apply this to your display resolution. Once you finish with that, simply end this task. Navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen, click onto the Windows symbol, open up your settings, navigate right onto Update and Security and stick around Windows Update. But I want you to click onto Check for Updates because I know guys it's gonna sound a little bit basic, but trust me, updating every single driver you could possibly update on your PC will help you a lot of every kind of issue you're currently having and also of crashing, lagging, or freezing. So just trust me and download the latest version of Windows. And once you finish with that and this task, navigate right onto your graphics card, driver, application, or Use the browser for that and download the latest version of your driver just to provide the best possible performance in general for your PC. That's it for the video guys, I hope that I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription, I'm gonna really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say, have a nice day, see you at the next one and bye.